Hey guys, welcome to Dr. CyberLogic. So NVIDIA just released their new trailers for some of their games coming out that feature ray tracing. So I just wanted to take this opportunity. Let's talk about ray tracing. Is it worth the premium price on the RTX cards? As well as, is it a gimmick like a lot of people say? So let's get into it. And I'll give my impressions on the new games, plus what my thinking is on ray tracing. All right, let's get into it. Stay tuned. So before we begin, let's discuss what ray tracing is. So basically, ray tracing is a rendering technique that traces a path of light and simulates how it interacts with objects. So basically, it tries to simulate real world light and how it reflects off of images. So there's three different types of ray tracing. There is shadows, global illumination, and then reflections. So a lot of games you're not going to see have all three because it takes a lot of power and processing power to fuel those. There's one game that I know of so far that does all three but it's on a 20 year old game because the newer games we just aren't up to GPU power that can do all three in one game. But let's show, I want to show you what got me interested in ray tracing and what made me believe that this is the future of gaming. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? So this is the scene that I realized that ray tracing was the next generation of video game graphics. Because as you see, as you're going through this church, the lighting and how the light reflects off the walls, and then you can see the shadows behind the guy doing the sermon in the back, and it all just comes together into one realistic looking scene. Without ray tracing, they would have had to program all of this into the video itself and into the video game itself, and it would have taken a lot longer, been a lot more difficult. So by doing it with ray tracing, it is amazing. And this is one of the original games to use ray tracing. So I'm gonna show you some of the newer games coming out that takes ray tracing a step further and you can actually see the improvement on video game graphics from ray tracing. So that was one, I believe one of the, up to this date, the best use of ray tracing in a video game. That's a, for a game that's been released up till now. Now let's discuss some ray tracing games that have not been updated or have not been released yet. Let's start out with something more kid friendly. One of the games that are getting ray tracing update, which I f find really great, I haven't played in a while but I might get back into it after this update, is Minecraft. Now how do you take a game about building with blocks and every thing in that game is a block and create better graphics out of it? Well, you just improve the lighting and it's like a completely different game. So let's look into the trailer for the new Minecraft ray tracing. Now here's the Minecraft. As you can tell from RTX on, you can actually see the rays of light as it shines through. And it improves the shadows on the blocks tremendously. Now watch as she turns RTX off again and the color of the water, it just turns like a cartoonish blue but with RTX on it looks a lot more realistic as you can tell so this all they did in this was change the lighting and it improved the graphics by a large margin it's not even a small amount of improvement as you can tell with the shadows and everything just coming together they did a great job and just changing the whole look of the game. This is the new Call of Duty, which they announced will have ray tracing. So look at this is, you can see the difference with ray tracing on versus ray tracing off. The colors just look so much better due to the lighting. 
as you can tell, there is a big difference in just the shadows coming off the uh, people. And then as you can tell, the light from the sh gunshots. And the, if you look right here, the shadows, it adds a whole another way to look at video games. With this game, I felt like this was the best showcase of ray tracing so far. As you can tell, this game uses a lot of reflections. From the puddles, you can tell. See, with RTX off, everything has to be programmed in. Here's RTX off, and then with it on, it just looks so realistic. You can see the reflection of the buildings off the puddles, and the lighting just bounces off everywhere, and it's, it's really good. Now, you can tell where I stand on ray tracing. Do I think it's a gimmick? No, I don't. This is the future of gaming. Even the new systems, the PS5 and the Xbox whatever, is saying that they're going to have ray tracing in it. I'm not sure how well they're going to pull that off, considering ray tracing is very demanding on the GPU. And if this, these uh, GPUs, as rumored, is a little bit less powerful than 28, I'm not sure how they can maintain 4K have the ray tracing and get, still get the good frames per second but we'll see when those get released unless they cut down the graphic fidelity but back to ray tracing this is an evolution of video games we haven't seen this type of evolution in video games for a very long time i don't even believe the jump from PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 to Xbox One was as big of a graphical jump than ray tracing creates. So, in my opinion, this is not a gimmick. What is kind of messed up on NVIDIA's part, they are cashing in on this new technology, it's not technically not new technology, but new to the consumer market by basically price gouging people. $1,200 for the 2080 Ti. Now, do I believe that's the proper price point? Not at all. And I'm hoping with the competition from Nvidia, from AMD, that this will cause Nvidia to decrease their price point, especially for the next release of RTX cards, which is hopefully coming 2020. But as of right now, this is an um, amazing technological feat. And you can tell from those videos I showed the difference in the video game quality. And that's just from changing the lighting. So I do not think ray tracing is a gimmick. But if AMD doesn't release ray tracing in their next cards to release, because the uh, 5400 and the 5400 XT do not have ray tracing and I think personally that that premium to pay Nvidia to get that extra feature is worth the price because as you can tell from these videos it adds a completely different dimension to gameplay well thank you guys for watching my video this has been my opinion on ray tracing I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please subscribe and like the video you guys have a great day and thank you